Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be playing around with the gearing on my Lossy 5T. So at the present moment it is running a uh, the stock um, gearing system, the, the gearing or the gears um, on my Lossy 5T and I've gone out and bought um, new gears for this. So at the present moment, I've got to look down actually so I know what I've actually bought. Um, I've gone out and bought a 58T and a 21T gearing on this. Present moment, stock gears, and I'm going to increase it with this baby. So hopefully it gives me more, a little bit more power. I do want to start testing out some different gears and making things run a little bit faster. I know that um, people have their own desired gear set up. Um, but yeah, write down in the comments below what you're currently using and um, yeah, tell me what the benefits are and the non-benefits. So, but however, I've gone with this set um, to increase as much power as possible. And yeah, so look, here's some footage of what the stock gear setup gets you. Okay, so we're back in the studio. I hope you like that footage. Um, the speed that I got on that was around the 60 kilometers per hour mark. Um, great, very fast. So um, let's go off and install this and see if there's any difference. And let's go back out to location and see um, the actual difference um, it does uh, make. Um, as you can tell, I've tried to do it as scientific as possible. I've gone from goalpost to goalpost and trying to really make sure that you guys get the optimal um, speed uh, for this type of environment. Because I understand that there's different gear setups for different types of environments, but I've just gone on for necessary speed and gone off recommendations from a you beautiful bunch of people um, about what I should be do, um, using on my Lossy 5T. So yeah, look, let's go whack this on and let's go back out to location and see the difference. Okay, looks like I had to kind of tip it upside down. I did try to be, try to do a sneaky and try to take it off at the front, see if I could do that. But hey, look, rookie mistake. I have to take these bolts off down here, which is I kind of don't want to do, but hey, look, it's part of the fun. I have to take off that bolt, that bolt, that bolt for the motor, and also two, one, two, three, and four for the diff. So, um, yeah. Wish me luck. Okay, so the um, center diff is off and it's now just time to pull everything apart. I did just replace the center diff as well, so um, wish I had a thought about this, uh, I don't know, this project prior, so. Anyway, so that's all off. This is the goodies that we need to have. I need to um, strip it and put the new um, gearing on. Quite different. Okay, let's go off and do that. So looking into this, it looks as though that it's uh, it's bone dry. I don't know if the camera is picking that up or not, but like there's no lubricant in there at all. So let's just go top it up. Let's go. Holy crap! 
Okay, so this is probably going to tick any, oh, I don't know, veteran off, but like, um, I'm gonna put 60K fluid um, in this, uh, yeah, diff. So um, some diff oil here, uh, or diff, silicon diff fluid. Let's get the proper terminology right, Christian. So um, yeah, so as you tell, it's bone dry. I'm gonna put 60K in now. A lot of people say, oh, um, you can put all sorts, like the thicker the better. You can get up to a million K, but I've got up to 60K. I wanna trial this out with this diff. Um, I want it just to be a little bit more looser than stiff um, in the middle. And um, yeah, so what I like to do is, is that if you can just see, I don't know if I can get a pointer. You can just see to this, I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but just to this line just here, that's where I like to um, top up all my fluids. So just on the, the top of that, that's where um, I'll be like, stopping, putting the fluid in. Um, if I'm doing this wrong, or if you have another way, please write down in the comments below. Um, love to hear your thoughts and your expertise. So, but yeah. I'm glad I actually took it apart and was able to see this mess. So let's just get uh, putting this together. Okay, so that's all cleaned up now and it's time to um, put this sucker onto this. I'll just put everything together. Um, and yeah, hopefully this will be all done. Um, this, uh, the silicon is very hard to, um, I don't know, it just gets a bit messy. So just a word of advice, like, like, yeah, just be prepared. It does get a little bit messy, but hey, look, it's part of the hobby. It's fun, they said. Okay, so back to this junkie. Um, no offense to any junkies if you watch this channel. Um, I've got to take out these bolts. I'm not looking forward to them because I always seem to strip these ones, but let's get to it. Okay, so the motor's off, which is good. Um, now to take off this bit here. So a couple of screws and then take out the clutch bell. Go off and do that. Let's go. Okay, so all the pieces are all together now. Um, it's time to just put it on to that. I won't show you how I put it all together because you just saw me, saw me take it all apart, but you get the diff. Is it jiff or diff? Jiff. Uh, let's go diff because we're playing with the diff. Anyways, I shall put it back together and I'll see you after. So everything is now put back together. All well and sweet, lock tighted and ready to rip. Rip! So um, yeah, let's take it out to the site and let's see if fast gearing actually works. Okay, so we're on location. Um, we're going. I've just put in the um, the new gearing and let's see how fast or if there's any improvements at all with the new gearing and um, with some scientific speed runs. So um, I'm going to be doing from goalpost to goal, goalpost to goalpost like I did with the stock gearing. And um, let's come back and I'll show you my final review. And um, yeah, we'll go from there.
Okay, so um, that was a lot of fun. Um, didn't want to go into too much. Uh, well, I didn't want to just rev around too much because there's some people here playing footy and um, some kids around and stuff like that. But like, look, the new gearing setup is phenomenal. It's beautiful. It's it's a lot faster. Um, I hope it does come up um, in the videos um, or that you have just shown um, that it is a lot faster because it didn't. It, it definitely felt a lot faster, especially between the goalposts and goalposts um, compared to the stock gearing. Um, for an investment of thirty dollars of eBay, can't go wrong. I'll put a link in the description below where you can get yours for the Lossy Five T. But Definitely with a strong pipe. Well, I've got the Olmet pipe. You know, I'm a big fanboy of the Olmet pipes, and also to a um, an air pod filter, plus a good gearing setup. Oh my gosh, it is an absolute weapon. I can't wait to um, edit it and see actually how fast I got it up to. Um, I think um, with the stock gearing, I got up to 60 kilometers per hour, um, but with this gearing. Hopefully I've got more. Write down in the description below um, what you think of the new gearing. Don't forget to like, subscribe and do all that fun YouTube stuff because it really does help me out. But I will see you next week, you big beautiful bastards. Hit that like, subscribe button and we'll go from there. See you next week.